You're watching the Singing Toad YouTube channel. Hey folks, Singing Toad here. Thank you for tuning in to my channel today, and I hope you're having an absolute energizing day. So today I'm going to attempt to film myself installing the new uh, replacement uh, thicker springs, uh, the stiffer springs, on my Vosteed Mini Nightshade. Um, so for those who haven't seen the first videos, uh, basically the standard night sh uh, springs that come in are too weak. They don't hold the detent in well enough. Um, so basically what happens is, you know, you can easily flick the knife in and flick the knife out, but what I can also do is I can do that. I can flick the knife in and out, uh, without pulling back on the, um, uh, the, uh, the lock bar here or without, you know, with, you know, just basically with, with my wrist, I can get the, the blade to come out. And, uh, you know, uh, as mentioned before in previous videos where I live here in Canada, um, you know, depending on who happens to view the, see the knife at the time, uh, a law enforcement officer or a member of, of the law, uh, law enforcement, you know, they could deem this knife to be considered a flick knife and therefore fall under the Prohibited Weapons Act. So I want to go ahead and fix that by installing the stiffer springs that will put more detent and will prevent it from being able to do that, hopefully. That's the idea anyway. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can change those springs out. Now, I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to film. I might speed some of it up. I might have to edit some of it. Depends on my fumbling. It is kind of hard for me to see through the, the screen up here. Uh, you know, what I'm doing, I don't really have any depth perception, so I might have to do some things off camera. We'll just see. We'll see how we go here. So, just bear with me, folks. And, uh, so we're going to start with getting uh, the uh, tool out here, which has the torch drivers. And uh, I think I need a T6 for these body screws, if memory serves me correctly. I think that's what those are. Uh, that one. Let's see. I can't tell if that's the right one or not. Is that the right one? It's hard for me to see here. I'm just gonna test fit it in here. Yeah, that feels that feels correct. All right. So we're just gonna go in here and take these body screws out. Now I have this little cloth down, um, and that is to prevent the little screws from rolling around because this surface here is very slippery, and if one of these screws falls on the floor, I'll never find it. So, and I'm trying to do this carefully without stripping out. Oh, that screw came right on out. And I don't believe I have to remove the pocket clip. So let's see, will that come off now? Actually, I think I have to take that one out in order to get this. One of these screws just fell out. That one fell out. Now these screws are different sizes. So it's important to remember where, where they came from. And another one just fell out of there. There it is. So three of them. I don't know how we can see, but they're they're different lengths. So two of them are a little bit longer, and two of them are a little bit shorter. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera there. If I can just gosh, they're so small, it's hard to pick up. Place them down. I don't know how well you can see it, but these are shorter than those ones. So there's a certain way that these go in, and uh, yeah, I think I got to take that out to get that side off. But we'll get this other side off first. Probably should have done this side first. Come to think about it, <laughs> and that one came out nice and easy. That one is that one's just spinning freely. Okay. I don't remember that happening last time we took that apart, but oh well, we'll see what happens here. All right, so I'm just gonna set. I'm gonna try and keep these. All together here, so there's too long, and there's too short. I don't know why that one doesn't want to come out. 
All right, so let's see here. Does that want to come off? Nope. I got I bet I got to take that one out now. Uh, what size is that one? That's it. That feels like a T8. So I'm just going to keep that one handy because I'm going to need it again. Okay, so out comes that. And so, woo! There we go. That came off nice and easy. And, uh,. There's that. That can probably just stay on there, but that's like a little spacer. I'll just leave that out. Okay, so how do we get how do we get that out of there? I think I had to do something. I'm trying to remember how to get that out of there. There we go. Ow. Come on now. There we go, out it comes. So that's your that's your center pin right there. And there comes the blade. And I'm I'm holding on to things because things are gonna come falling out of this thing. <laughs> like a little a little wee tiny uh, bearing just came out of there. Okay, so there we go. So there's our scales. So there's the knife all taken apart and another bearing just fell out. So we got two little wee bearings. I do have some of uh, Ken's uh, from Last Chance Knives, his uh, uh, lube oil uh, here, pivot oil, which I'll re-lube this thing back up because I'm touching it with my hands. Uh, and I should actually take a little cloth here and just kind of get some of that gunk out of there. So now the trick is we got to change these out. So I'm actually going to grab another tool here. I should have done this beforehand. I'm going to get a pair of pliers. So, Leatherman, just in case. I don't know if I'll need those or not, but let's just see if I can... Actually, yeah, can I just grab that? Alright, so there's that. And I think... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one at a time. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the new springs. Goodness, how do you open this thing? There we go. If only I had a knife to cut the bag open, right? <laughs> Alright, so there's the new springs. Set the baggie over there. So we need the correct one for the correct side. So we need this this side here. See how this is this is hooked one way, and the other one's hooked the other way. So now put that in the hole. And then we gotta get this. I'm not sure how the camera will show it, but no, oh yeah, this camera doesn't want to focus. Come on, camera, focus. So if you can see the other side here, see how it's kind of hooked around there, and that's why I'm doing this one at a time, so I can, I can kind of mirror each side. All right, so we gotta, we kind of have to do that. We got to put this in this little hole here, and then we got to get that. in that little groove. So how am I going to do that? Oh boy. Okay. Of course this wants to move around me. This is this is quite tricky. Oh, hold on a second. Well that went in like nothing. Look at that. I just slapped, snuck right in there. Alright. Do I have it in the right spot? Hold on. I gotta look at this out of the camera here. Yeah, it looks like it's in the right spot to me. Okay, so now we're going to do the other side. That, that went in easier than I thought it was going to, so let's just take this off. Take that out. And put the thicker spring in. Put in that, oops, I'm doing all things off camera, so put that in like so, whoops. I wish my hands worked correctly, folks. So let's... Let's get that in there and just kind of push that down in there. There we go. Okay, now this thing's splitting apart here, so. Alright, so there we are. So there we are, folks. The springs are 
again, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera there, but they're in the right spot. So let's just see if we can put this thing back together now. I remember how to do that. So that went something like that in there. You know what? I wonder if it make more sense if I put that screw in and that screw in to hold this thing in a position. Hey, that would make more sense. Let me do that. Let me put that screw back in. my other tool here. There we go. I really don't know what I'm doing folks. I'm just kind of messing around. So let's see here. Okay, so there's that. I think it was one of the short screws went in the middle here. All right. Now I'm not tightening these down all the way. Just kind of, just kind of snug. But they're not like tightened. I think it's going to make my life a little bit easier when I try to put this together. I might be completely wrong on this, by the way. I don't know what I'm doing. Push that back out just a little bit. No, <laughs> man, that's so tricky. Try to keep that in there. <sighs> man, it wants to go too far out. Don't want it that far. Haha! I got it. <laughs> I don't know how well you guys can see that, but wow, that that's quite the chore to get that thing back in place. Goodness gracious! Okay, let's see if we can put the rest of the knife back together. My goodness, I am not a fan of that design. Let me tell you what. But uh, let's see if we can put the knife back together here. Uh, let's put the spacer back in. Right, and what else do we do? Put cover, 
back on and so one of these longer screws went in here and again I'm not tightening any of these really down so I just have them just gently kind of in place and you know how you can see there see so everything looks kind of right now I'm gonna just put the pivot screw back in Before I tighten everything down, I'm just going to function test the knife. So now can I flick it? You can you can hear you can hear ugh, it wants to go, but there okay, so it did come out. I really had to flick it really really hard. Okay, but I also don't have the pivot screw tightened down all the way. It's still, it's still quite loose. All these screws are still quite loose because I didn't want to tighten everything down and then discover, oh crap, I f did something wrong. You know, something's not right in here. And so let's go ahead and tighten that down just a just a smidge more. Yeah, there, it's not coming out at all. So if you guys remember, at the start of the video, I could do that, and the blade would come flying out. And now, now it won't do that, because those springs are definitely stiffer. It takes a lot more pressure uh, to move them, to disengage that lock. So there we go, perfect. Problem solved. So let's go ahead and just grab my other... Uh, screwdriver here and we're just going to give everything a, a tightening down now that I'm happy snug them all up I'm not cranking these screws down by the way folks you know if I ever have to take this knife apart again I don't want it you know super hard on myself I have to strip screws out there we go so they're all just tightened It actually sounds different. There's like almost like a ping sort of sound when I flick the knife out. And of course the big thing is that blade is rock solid. I can't flick it out now just by flinging my hands around. So I'm satisfied with that. I'm very happy with the results there. So there we go. So thanks very much Vostid for um, sending me out the correct springs. Uh, so that I could do this uh, this modification to the knife. I am super happy, folks. So there we go. For those of you who made it this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. Um, that is my installation video. And uh, and again, thanks to Ken uh, for giving me this uh, this knife lube. Oh, which I totally forgot to put some in. Um, I did put some in off camera here, but put a little bit back in there. There we go. We'll just work that a couple of times. Super awesome. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. Tell me what you think in the comments. Take care, my friends. Sing and Toad signing out.